All right, okay. What I would actually like to do is go and buy some items. First things first, actually, hold up. Let me heal Mario, because that dude's in dire need of it. All right. Da -da 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 -da. I would like to buy some more bro items, because I am, I am painfully low. I will grab as many as you're willing to give me for whatever price you're throwing at me. Bro items, let's see, pocket chomps, da -da 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 -da, green shells and the like. Uh, okay, let's see. I need some smash eggs. I know, I know, it's a really stupid thing I'm doing by doing that, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna buy a bunch of pocket chomps. Boom, okay. When the, when the smash eggs work, they're actually pretty good. And, you know, they always work. I'm the one that's screwing it up, so I'm not gonna hate the item. Just gonna hate myself. So, you know, an average day for me. What are you gonna do this time, you no-good ghosts? Nothing! We're gonna jump on your stupid-looking face! That's what we're gonna do! And you stole one of my trampolines, you utmost butt weasel! That is not cool! You are to not do that ever again! Here I thought we were friends, we were bros, we were having a wonderful time, and then you straight up robbed me! Who does that? Who does that? Nobody! You're t Seriously, you're not one of those bandits things that very rarely ever shows up in Mario games these days? You know those things that were in Yoshi's Island, but also in Paper Mario games? The bandits? They have the, they're like shy guys, but aggressive, I guess. Can't say I know entirely what the deal with them is. In fact, Nintendo just seems to really like creating characters and then not using them for anything ever again. I've never understood that practice. I under like, I get that they... Like, each Mario series is made by, like, a different development team. So, I don't know, I, I doubt Shigeru Miyamoto knows about every single, you know, incidental character created in the RPG games. Like, you know, the Paper Mario series is one thing, the Mario and Luigi series is an entirely different kettle of fish. All manner of st stuff of that effect. I, I guess I can understand that much, but at the same time, like in those... I, mm, it, it just, it, it bugs me, okay? Like, I was like, oh hey, here, have Rosalina in every game ever, even though she really has not earned it whatsoever. I just... Mm, I do not understand why it does this. <sighs> oh well, what are you gonna do? It's just, I don't know. You know how in some of the, those games, like... In, like, Mario Party 10. I got that recently. I like it. A lot of people hate it, but I don't care what they think. I think it's a fun game. But, you can play as Spike. Now, who is Spike, you're wondering? You know those weird little green dudes with the mohawks that vomit up giant spiked balls at you? Yeah, it's that thing. Why is that thing playable? I don't understand. Why is that a thing that they coded and programmed into this game? Because you know what would have been, you know what would have been significantly less effort on their part? Take one of their standard Goomba models, put a blue baseball cap on him, and call him Goombario. Boom! Not only did you like, not only did you save time and effort making a playable character, but you also like greatly satisfy the desires of a lot of people. Same thing. Hey, put a bandana on this Koopa and give him a blue shell. Boom. Simple as that. You ain't gotta do much. Keely, even that Keely Koopa girl. You could have her come back. Or, or Fawful, or, or, or Popple. Remember Popple? That dude does, that dude was in the first game in the Mario Luigi series. And he doesn't come back until Dream Team. Although him showing up in Dream Team was freaking amazing because everyone assumed he was long gone, never to be seen again. So I'm not even gonna hate on that. That's just awesome. But, you know, I just, I don't understand their choices. That's not even, I, to, to gripe on Rosalina again. Let me tell you about this woman. I do not understand anything about this lady or why she's so popular or why she's in everything. Like, okay, so you want to use her as a, a, a new incidental character for like every Mario Kart, golf, tennis and stuff? That's fine. I'm okay with that. There, there's nothing wrong with that. Why was she a playable character in 3D Land? Why couldn't it have been Daisy? She's earned it. Throw Daisy a bone, man. Either way, PD Piranha! Enough of my stupid grumblings. It's time to fight ourselves a piranha. Also, Keely Koopa has been captured, unfortunate. Ace timing, fellas! Boogie up here and cut me loose, will ya? No, we'll cut you loose right now! Bust me out or I'm a snack for sure! Don't worry. I mean, it's not like we're just standing there looking shocked instead of helping you. Come on, we're pals, ain't we? I gave you the dirt on the secret entrance, didn't I? Now it's your turn to be good eggs, or it's curtains for me. Come on, hurry up! We're terrible friends! Well, 
That's two women we let die today. You know, there was a very, very long period of time where we could have helped there. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, while Petey was just standing there doing absolutely nothing, we could have probably walked him on the head, got him out of the way, cut Keely. I don't know. I'm just saying. Anyway. As impossible and as never going to happen as it is, I would like to see complete and total Mario Universe conversion. I want every different- I want every single series to be, like, connected to each other. Like, here's an- here's an interesting little, I don't know, question. Like, and this is- this is even, like, for the- like, the mainline Mario games, okay? Like, they're, they're their own thing, I get that, whatever, except for Rosalina and 3D Land. You can play as a freaking Toad, and Rosalina, who isn't even nearly as old, but not Daisy. Mm, I just want Daisy to be something. At least give her that costume in Mario Maker. You can play as Birdo. You can play as a trampoline. You got two different versions of Isabella from Animal Crossing. You've got a you got you have Mario with a coin box on his head. You have a Mahjong tile. The Sky Pop from Super Mario Land, but not Daisy. Just recolor Peach's sprite. I'm sorry, I get really upset about that. But okay, like in the Mario & Luigi games, you guys probably have realized by this point, Mario & Luigi games, frigging awesome, love them. I, I hope they keep making them forever, especially seeing as how they've completely given up on, I guess, making Paper Mario games any good anymore. So that's something. Okay, hang on, hang on, not sure what's going on here. There we go, okay. For example, ignoring Daisy entirely because you know my entire stance on that, she should be in a lot more stuff. I'm not saying make her a main character or anything, but just have her show up. Hmm. Okay, I said, I said I wasn't gonna talk about that, and that's what I did, but... Like, say, I don't know, wouldn't Wario and Waluigi make, like, the coolest, reoccurring, like, villainy people to fight in, in a Mario and Luigi game? Wouldn't that be something? Like, hey, you know, they're trying to get all sorts of money and stuff, and now you're in the way, and you gotta fight them. But, no. And I, I, don't, I don't really understand it. Again, the mainline series. Let's keep talking about the mainline series, just for a little bit longer, to emphasize my point here, okay? So, they're willing to put Rosalina as a fully playable character in it. Okay. This shows that they're more- it shows that they're willing to do just that. They're willing to take characters that work, that have no, have no business being there, and putting them in there. This is a good thing, they should do this. So question is, why can't we play as, I don't know, I mean, no, 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 you know what, no, 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 that, that, that's taking it too far. Maybe we don't want to, maybe to not play as, but let me ask, say like in uh, the next Super Mario, uh, you know, exploration game, you know, like 64, Galaxy, you know, stuff like that, the next big one of those. Why not make, I don't know, Wario or Waluigi uh, a character that's in it somewhere, and they do something, and you gotta fight them, maybe. Or maybe not even that, maybe they just make a brief cameo at the beginning of the whatever festival the Mushroom Kingdom is celebrating at that time, because they're always celebrating some sort of festival or activity at the beginning of every one of these adventures for some reason. Just, I'm not saying even make them huge parts of the game, okay? I'd be perfectly fine with, with, with Princess Daisy just, you know, like, offhandedly kind of maybe appearing in the background but not actually doing anything before the Mario Brothers go off on their huge adventure or you know she doesn't even have to maybe the characters don't even have to physically appear just acknowledge that they exist in the universe like I don't know like have them go into a jungle and whoa Donkey Kong what are you doing here and then he runs off and does something else Donkey Kong related because he's in the middle of his own adventure or something I don't know at the very least, make it look like Wario Land and Wario Wear take place in the same place. In the land I'm walking around right now is the Mario Brothers. Are Jimmy- is Jimmy T dancing? Is Mona doing her Mona Pizza thing? I gotta know, man! In the next Super Mario Baseball game! Put Wario Wear characters in there! Put Paper Mario characters, Mario and Luigi characters! You have so many characters, so many wealth of options! And I just don't understand what makes Nintendo decide on who to keep and who to just throw away. Like, seriously. Again, what exactly about Rosalina is so freakishly special? I don't understand it. 
I mean, she's, yeah, she's pretty and everything, and that's cool and everything, and woo, wonderful and all that good nonsense, but what makes her so much more worthy to get all of this lavish attention? She became a Smash Brothers character. What makes her worthy of being a Smash Brothers character? We already had too many Mario characters to begin with. That would have been iffy on anybody, even somebody I wanted. It would be weird, man. But now, let's put Rosalina in there. It's not like she's done anything really of note, except she really hasn't. People like to say she's God, but really she's just some floaty lady with a spaceship. So what makes her so special? Why is Wario cast to the side? To the sidelines, reserved only to ever show up in Mario Party. But but she gets that special treatment. Donkey Kong! Everybody! Diddy, the whole... Huge, massive crossover game between all of the various things. How about that, maybe? I don't... I just don't know, guys. I'm getting very emotional about this, and I really shouldn't be. But am I crazy here? Like... Is, is what I'm saying not make any sense? I just wanted to understand why. Listen up, y'all. Spin the cog below and three targets. It'll appear, coin, shroom, and flower. Squirt them targets with water. If the target you hit matches a target below, you win. Okay, that's fine. But seriously, it's just like... What makes one character so freakishly special and the other ones not as special? Like, why do we have to wait like five years for a game starring Wario, you know? Like, I'm not even asking for... Like, again, I'm not even asking for fully playables. Like, hey, I mean, even though they did that with Wario once and, and you know, Super Mario... 64 DS, so it's not like this isn't something that they're totally capable of doing or anything, and I screwed that up in my rage! I'm just so full of anger right now, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Come on, Nintendo. It's not difficult. None of these things are difficult. You can do so much. You have so much options. You've got a, a wealth of possibilities and everything in between. Nothing is stopping you from doing this except for yourselves, and I don't understand why. You gotta pay attention to this. A coin, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. There we go. There, we're done here. Why we have to go through a freaking carnival ride here to get to a freaking Petey Piranha, I don't understand, but here we are doing it anyway. And again, like, let's, ignoring every main series again, let's talk about just the incidental, let's be honest, sometimes kind of lazily put together, you know, miscellaneous games, okay? I love Mario Party 10. And I love the new Mario Tennis, but even those, you could have put a little bit more effort in there, you know? Why have this random, random Magic Koopa? You know, put in a little extra time and effort. Put Pauline in it! From the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, you know, the girl that was in the original Donkey Kong arcade game? You redesigned her, she looks friggin' gorgeous! Friggin' put her in the thing, make money off that! Is it because Rosalina is just adorable and stuff? Pauline's, she's cute too! So I don't even understand what you're doing. If you just want to make a game full of cute girls, you got plenty of options, man. Even the Koopas and some people are into that. That's cool. I'm not judging them. I'm just putting like Mona from Wario Air in there. There, there's some good, there's some good marketing for you right there. You just want some eccentric weirdos, and boom, Jimmy T, you got that noise going for you. You got so many choices, so many options. You've got everything going for you. And you just, you just leave it there. It's just sitting on the patio. You left it out in the rain. It's gonna get a cold. It's gonna rust, man. Why are you doing this to me? I don't understand. I just want to love your characters. Why don't you love them like I love them? Why am I so weird like that? I don't understand. <sighs> just keep, keep it going, I guess. Got some pocket chomps. That's pretty great. I try and avoid all the bomb bombs. I don't want to deal with those stupid jerks right now. And we've got this guy. What? 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 What do you want? Where are you going, boys? You want to move on? You gotta have to play a timed game. You gotta hit the block that'll appear on the bottom screen before time runs out. You hear me? You get it done, boys, and I'll let you pass as official cave speed demons. Okay, seriously? Is this another one of those rolly doodles? Yes, you definitely want me to be rolly doodling all over this place. Very well. I shall rolly doodle all my way over there. If that is what I truly must do. Okay, come on, Mario Brothers. Form your weird ball technique. Go! All right, now go, 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 go. You can do this, Mario and Luigi. You guys have all the style and finesse, son. And hang on, hang on. Yep. 
Okay, keep it going, keep it going. We can still do this. Yep, yep, yep. Bing, bang, boom. There we go. Professor E. Gad. Wouldn't, come on, wouldn't you want to maybe like play as Professor E. Gad in a Mario Kart? Why are we just getting standard Koopa Troopa? Hey, it's Koopa Troopa. And I even like the baby versions of characters, but come on, man. If you want to put, if you're going to, look, either go full hell hog on this thing with those baby characters, or you just knock it off. You have Baby Wario, okay? I've played Yoshi's Island DS. A lot of people give that game crap. I don't understand why. I like it more than the original. But boom, you've got Baby Wario. Baby Mother Truck and Wario. Put him in a game, too. If you're gonna have Baby Daisy running around, you, you're sometimes able to put... The, I mean, granted, for some reason you've abandoned that concept, too. You got Baby Rosalina up in there, because, you know, gotta have more Rosalina. She's peach, but with a bang over her eye and, like, two feet taller. Gotta get that sweet, sweet out on the waifu box. Gotta have all the waifus everywhere. No, just space waifu. It's like emo space waifu. Whoa, dang, my mom died and then I found a spaceship. Then I flew into space and found an alien species. And now they call me mom and that's weird. But okay, sure, fine. I'm a nice gal. I'll do that. I will do that. I will become their surrogate mother. I will do that for them. And then I'm going to somehow gain some sort of weird magical ability to fly around and stuff and maybe create a few force fields. Apparently, that's going to be the universe's way of saying, oh yeah, no, Toad, she's in Mario Universe's god. I mean, obviously, she created existence and everything in it. I mean, clearly in Mario 2, the entire world ended and she recreated it in her image. That's how it works. You're thinking too hard about things, okay? She's a lady with weird magic psychic powers. That's not exactly a very rare commodity in this sort of thing, you know? Okay? The Mario Universe is freaking weird. Grab a flower and you can throw fireballs and you're trying to tell me, you're trying to tell me the fact that because this lady can make herself big, which is something Mario can do, create shields, which is something Mario can do, and has control over a bunch of pudgy star people, which is something Mario could do with toads if he really wanted to. You're saying because of all that, for some reason, these significantly less impressive things than something Mario has done makes her God. That makes her God? No, she's not God. She's just some lady. She's a nice, pretty lady, and that's all she is. And again, I feel like it's important for me to take note of the fact, okay? I don't dislike Rosalina. She's awesome, okay? Keep putting her in stuff. I'm perfectly fine with that. I just want you to share the love. Share the freaking love, man. So many characters, so many opportunities. Why are they all sort of, why are each and every one restricted to their weird, I don't know, subsect? Why? Like, okay, this character is only allowed to appear in this and this subseries of Mario, but if they ever show up in this, well, the entire universe will collapse in on itself. I don't understand. It can't be a money or a timing thing. Nintendo takes time and effort for all of their, you know, escapades and stuff. And again, don't need huge roles. Just makes them, sh just, just acknowledge they exist. Remember Luigi's Diary in Paper Mario? You remember that and something he said, hey, I remember the times we just played golf and had parties and stuff. See, that was neat. He referenced the other series. It wasn't intrusive. It was just a few little bit of text dialogues and everything. No big deal. Nothing special. You can keep doing that. Have another Luigi's Diary and another Mario RPG. It's like, oh, hey, I was hanging out with Daisy today, and then I fell on my face, and it was embarrassing, and I looked like a fool. Man, that's a darn shame. Like, boom, you don't even have to put her in. Don't even have to put her in. Or like in another thing, it's like, oh, the other day I was at the grocery store and I bumped into Donkey Kong and they was like, hey, what are you doing here? And he was all like, hey, I buy bananas. And I'm like, whoa, you must have crazy potassium levels. And then Donkey Kong's all like, boy, you don't even know it. I was talking to the doctor and I am getting mad cramps in my wrists. Like, I am developing arthritis. I gotta nip that thing in the bud right here and right now. It's like, I gotta... I gotta eat more bananas, cause as a giant, as a gigantic Donkey Kong monstrosity of a gorilla, I need lots of potassium. You think the amount of bananas I eat would be too much? Too? Turns out, no, no, no. I'm actually under eating. I've been losing weight, unhealthy amounts. Too much, too, too much exercise. Too much jungle climbing. You know how it is. So anyway, it was really nice catching up with Donkey Kong again. It was really awesome, and I like having him around and stuff like that. Maybe another day. I don't know. Luigi could go to the freaking podiatrist. It's like, hey, whoa, uh, Egad, you're here. It's like, yo, yeah, I've got really bad eyesight. Is that what a podiatrist is? I don't know, but y you should have a vague understanding, Nintendo. You're smarter than me. You've made the mad cast, bruh. And both Mario brothers are dead. 
I'm so full of the rage and and other things of that nature that I that, that my gameplay is suffering. But at the other on the other hand, hey, at least I'm talking about something. That's something. I mean, I'm doing it. Okay, like, are you not entertained, people? What more can I give you? I give you the gameplay. I give you the funny, funny commentary. I give you my rage rants every now and again as it is. Hey! I need to breathe, man. Either way, I think I've made my point? Maybe? I'm sure I'll bring it up again in another Let's Play at some point when I'm playing a Mario game and I and I get frustrated with that very same fact, but you know, not everybody watches every single series I make. Although some people try, and I love you for it. Thank you very much. Some, you have no idea how nice it is. I'm just sitting in my bed, feeling bad about myself, as I do on an average day, and I get an email that says, hey, somebody posted a comment on freaking friggin' like Ratchet and Clank part two. Like, oh my goodness gracious, that was years ago. You went back that far behind and watched that old series? You are a real deal super awesome guy. Thank you for that. Thanks for not just watching the new stuff. You're also watching the old stuff. Just because I made that stuff a long time ago doesn't make it any less good than the stuff I do now. Sometimes I might even tell you, you know what? It's probably even better than what I'm doing right now because what am I doing right now? All I'm doing is yelling into a microphone telling you to go and friggin' watch other things I've made. This is the p this is the point I have I've I've reached in my life. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's enough side tangents. How about we focus on this game and this game alone? Okay. Let's just uh, let's just try to keep it all together. Keep keep you know breathe and whatnot. I keep forgetting to breathe whenever I whenever I let's play, and it makes my arms start tingling due to the lack of air circulation. Circulation. That's not even a word. Circulation. You know what it is. You get it. You guys are smart. You've been around the river bend and all that other good jargon. Huh. Okay, just keep on boosting all them stats. Gotta friggin' find the princess and Kili Koopa. So we gotta do that. We just gotta run forward and hope for the best. And pew pew! Not today, fiend! Alright, what have we got in this place? You know what? Let's use this trampoline! Yeah, let's go with the trampoline. Boing! Boing! And Luigi! And Mario! There we go, yes! There we go. This'll see it is exactly like the cannonballers. Except it's permanent, except, except when you screw up and then everything bad happens. There we go, yep. Alright, well I did some damage. Not a ton, but it's something. I'll accept it. And then Mario takes so much damage because of his incredibly ill-fitting slacks. So much so that he passes out. Really starting to Really starting to not dig the fact that I did that. But you know what? Sometimes you make your bed and sometimes you just gotta you gotta you gotta lie in it. You gotta take that nap, man. Was this a smart idea? Was this a good idea? No, because Mario just died again because of the freaking bullet bill. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am gonna run out of one up mushrooms if I don't get good scrub lord, please. Okay, okay, okay. So we got this noise. And no! Not today! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna try and go the pew pew pew. No pew 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 today, good sir. All right, okay. Now let's try that trampoline again. And let's actually try and kill one of our enemies this way. All right. Luigi go thud. Mario go plap. And then the, ba oh, no, then the Luigi, I guess the, I guess the, the babies really flew up in there. That's pretty good. Okay, just keep it going. Boom. Boom. Bap. There's Mario. I was wondering where he went. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, you know what? I took care of two of them. That's something. I ain't even gonna hate. Boom. Took out your sarcophagus. Why's a shy guy even got a rocket-propelled sarcophagus? They could have been ranting about that this whole time. The logistics of an ancient Egyptian... It's not even a shy guy. It's a sniffet. Those are two different things, even though they look identical. And here's an here's something. Here's another thing we could talk about. Where am I supposed to do? Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> am I even going the right way anymore? I genuinely am not certain. <laughs> I kind of went into a weird autopilot while I was ranting there for a while, and gotta be honest, I am not sure. 
I'm not sure if I've been doing what I'm supposed to be doing or not. But there are monsters that are uh, in need of slaying and whatnot, so I guess we'll just keep practicing our football skills, as the people way back when would like to call it. You know, everybody except for Americans. The Americano! Yeah, here's some, here's some edgy topical humor for you. America, what's the deal with those guys? We're the weirdest. Anyway. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So you decided to randomly stop doing the thing that you've been doing this entire time and, sh and shooting out a little puff of smoke before you do it. No, no, no. Now we gotta do it the, the long and sporadic way. Confuse my face. Okay. All right. You, you have summoned the demon deep down within me. And there is a chain chomp living in there. Boom, shakalaka dang, boom. I ain't gonna let you do any of this nonsense anymore. I don't care how long it takes. Y'all gonna get hammer slammed all the way. Boom, you got jumped, and then you got hammered. You did a little twirly twirl. A little friggin' twirly twirl. I don't even know why you do that. There. Victory has been assured. Your transgressions shall never be forgiven! Now have a wonderful night. Okay. I guess apparently we gotta hit this thing with a hammer. Again, I feel like the adult versions of the Mario and Luigi should probably be the ones using the hammers. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Maybe the babies could have learned all of these weird, twisty, turny abilities and whatnot? Let's see. Is this something I'm gonna wanna do? Nope, not that. This! There we go, we've got all manner of, of thingamaroos. Okay. There we go, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I think we have to do a very tricky maneuver there. Okay. Assuming that I even had to go through all of that, I'm beginning to think that I might not have. Unless there's something even more special. Nope, that was, uh, that was, that was entirely unnecessary what I just did there. Oh, well, out of the way, sniff it, sarcophagus, thingamaboo. Ain't no time for you. Okay. Now, where are those babies? There they are. Okay, come on. We gotta go save Mario's girlfriend. Although, Nintendo does not like to say that out front. Sometimes it's just an implied love interest thing. Either way, even if they aren't romantically involved, even though they totally are. It's like, seriously, that's blatantly obvious. Don't know why they're trying to hide it. Even if they aren't, still very, very good friends. I mean, hey, people are like, yo, Mario, why is Luigi running around trying to help you save your girlfriend? Well, for one thing, Luigi's a good person and he likes to help people. And even if that wasn't the case, He's Princess Peach is his friend too. Might not be his girlfriend, but they're still friends. So like, I don't know. Say like, say like you've got two friends, right? You've got two super duper best friends. One's your girlfriend, and one's just one's just your best friend. Okay, okay. But your best friend and your girlfriend, they, they, they like each other just fine. They're friends. Nothing, not, nothing weird about it. They just they are just genuinely friends. In fact, you know they're, they're both female. Let's just go with that. Boom, boom, shaka laka laka boom. It all works then. And the guy and his girlfriend, his girlfriend gets taken away. So he's like, oh dang, I gotta go save her. And then he goes off and does it. But then his other friend, who is his girlfriend's best friend, is like, hey, whoa, bro, I'm gonna help you too. And it's like, but whoa, but you're not romantically involved. It's like, no, but we're friends and I want them to be happy and not kidnapped. So I will help you. So there you go. Mystery solved. It's called being a good person. Is it really that much of an alien topic for people? Stop having so many cannons airlifted in here. How many do you freaking need? Ugh, gotta react to his hand motions. He points his hand out, it's gonna be a puff of smoke. He puts them on his head, instantaneous bullet. Just add Shy Guy. It's, it's craziness. There we go. Mario, haha! -ha! We've breached the 70 points of attack damage. That's pretty dope. Alright, we've got all manner. And then I just get freaking shot by the freaking thing because, okay, sure, why not? Alright, and now Luigi is feeling the burn. Oh boy, okay. Oh, let's go with the bucket jump. Whoa, hey! Every so very, very rarely, the, uh, the, uh, da -da 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 the chain chomp you use will be female, as indicated by the bright red bow, or pink bow on it. The universal symbol for this is a female, you know? Next to eyelashes and whatnot. If they don't have any actual, like, you know, gender, notable gender differences, just give them a bow or some eyelashes. Boom. 
Easy peasy. Go. Unfortunately, because that thing is flying, that's not gonna work. Hello, Dolly. All right, okay, good, 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 good. Keep it going, keep it going. Up. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, it was something. Okay, at least he doesn't have his cannon anymore. That's it. How did I even mess that up? That was the most simple upon simple of things, and I still messed it all up. I do not understand. Uh, whatever. Super drops. Nom 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 nom. There. Now everybody is slightly less dead. And at the end of the day, that's really all you can hope for in life. To be slightly less dead. And we've got to be getting... We've, we've got to be closing in on PD right, by the, right, right about now. I mean, my goodness. Okay. Goes against my better judgment with all these evil demons lurking about. I'll grab a couple of those beans I saw along the way. Pretty sure I've missed a few. I'll probably wander around here on my own time, try to find them again. Uh, because of my my silly, silly ramblings, I oftentimes do not remember or see things that I should remember or have seen. 